Welcome to this video about service of the Danfoss ICS 2565 pilot operator servo valves. In this video, we'll give you some tips how to do an efficient service of the ICS 2565 pilot operator servo valves, which you see an example of here, to ensure safe and reliable valve operation and minimum service costs. Therefore, we will show you how to correctly isolate the valve from the system and drain it before service, how to correctly press or equalize the valve internally before service, how to correctly replace the fiber gasket, how to correctly replace the function module if needed. We'll also show you how to correctly replace the O-rings on the function module, how to correctly replace the valve plate if needed, and finally, how to correctly recharge the valve and connect it to the system. The complete ICS 25-65 pilot operator servo valves consist of valve body, function module and top cover with one of three pilot connections as seen here. The valve range includes valve sizes 25, 32, 40, 50 and 65 and the valves come with various types of connections. In this video we demonstrate the service of the ICS 50 valve with one pilot connection but the service procedure is the same for all valve sizes and variants. The service of the valve is done with the valve located on a workbench, as seen here, but the procedures of valve disassembly, valve parts replacement, and valve reassembly are the same for the valve located in a refrigeration system. Here you see the tools needed for the service of the ICS 2565 pilot operated servo valves. This includes multifunction tool with the specified code number for ICS 2565, torque wrenches, spanners and allen key, screwdrivers. So let us get started with the valve service. The ICS pilot operator servo valves are operated by one to three pilot valves, which are available in different types as seen here in these examples. The types and numbers of pilot valves used with the ICS valves depend on the ICS valve function in the refrigeration system. Please see the ICS valve data sheets for more technical details. This is available on danfoss.com. Before servicing the ICS 25-65 pilot operator servo valves, it is very important to do the following steps. Isolate the valve from the system. Disconnect electrical supply to any pilot valves mounted on the ICS valves. And if using external control of the ICS valves, then disconnect the electrical supply. Then isolate the pilot valves and possible external control supply from the system. Drain refrigerant from the valve and the pilot valves. Check and ensure that there is no refrigerant pressure before disassembly of the valve. In some cases, the valve might still be internally pressurized by refrigerant both upstream and downstream of the valve. This internal refrigerant pressure can be equalized by manually opening the valve, this by activating the manual operating spindle. Therefore, firstly loosen and rotate the cap counterclockwise to remove it from the manual operating spindle. Then carefully rotate the manual operating spindle clockwise to open the valve. Keep rotating the spindle until the clip ring on the spindle contacts the top nut on the top cover. Do not use excessive torque when the clip ring contacts the top nut. The valve is now in open position so that possible remaining refrigerant can be drained from the valve and pilot valves. After drainage of possible remaining refrigerant from the valve and pilot valves, then deactivate the manual operating spindle. Therefore, carefully rotate the manual operating spindle counterclockwise. Keep rotating the spindle until the spindle has reached the top point. Then further carefully rotate the spindle and torque tighten it to the specified torque. Ensure that the clip ring is not damaged and that it is correctly mounted on the spindle. Finally, Mount the cap on the spindle, rotate it clockwise and torque tighten it to the specified torque. If using external control of the ICS 25-65 valves, then remove any fitting and piping from the valve top cover. To remove the ICS 25-65 top cover, firstly loosen the bolts. Remove two of the bolts, leaving two bolts partly fixed to the valve body as a safety measure, should there by accident still be refrigerant pressure inside the valve. Slightly lift the top cover to ensure that there is no refrigerant pressure inside the valve. Then remove the remaining two bolts. Finally, carefully lift and remove the top cover. Carefully remove the fiber gasket by hand from the valve body. 
Do not use a sharp tool to remove the fiber gasket, since this might damage the gasket groove. Use the multifunction tool to remove the function module from the valve body. Firstly, insert the fretted end of the multifunction tool in the fretted hole of the function module and rotate clockwise to tighten the tool to the function module. Then insert a screwdriver into the hole in the tool and support the end of the screwdriver, for example, by another screwdriver. Carefully pull the screwdriver upwards to loosen and lift the function module. Remove the screwdrivers and carefully remove the function module from the valve body. Finally, rotate the multifunction tool counterclockwise to remove it from the function module. Be careful not to scratch the surfaces of the function module during removal. Carefully remove the two O-rings from the function module. Be careful not to scratch and damage the O-ring grooves. If the PTFE valve plate needs to be replaced, then you can remove it from the function model as follows. Counter hold the function model piston in the workbench so that you can loosen and remove the screw. Rotate the screw counterclockwise to remove it. Be careful not to damage the hole in the screw with the Allen key during removal of the screw. Please note that the spring inside the function model might push the piston assembly out of the insert when the screw is loosened and removed. Remove the V-cone assembly from the insert. Remove the washer plate and PTFE valve plate from the V-cone. Finally, carefully remove the PTFE valve plate from the washer plate. You can use different available service kits to replace one valve parts during reassembly of the ICS 25-65 pilot operated servo valves. Here you see the available service kits for ICS 25-65 valves. These are inspection kit, which includes fiber gaskets, O-rings, L-rings, and clip ring. Repair kit, which includes fiber gaskets, O-rings, L-rings, steel ring, and PTFE valve plate. Overall kit, which includes fiber gaskets, O-ring, L-rings, function module, and manual operating spindle. Please look for spare parts details for the different ICS valve sizes in the spare parts catalog, which is available on danfoss.com. So let us start the valve assembly using spare parts from these service kits. If the function module has been disassembled to replace the PTFE valve plate, then assemble the parts as follows. Before mounting the PTFE valve plate, first clean the valve plate groove on the washer plate. Then mount the PTFE valve plate correctly with the flat surface towards the washer plate groove and mount the two parts onto the V-cone. Insert the piston assembly and spring into the insert. Compress the piston ring in the piston by hand while pushing the piston fully into the insert. Mount the V-cone assembly onto the piston assembly. Apply Loctite to the screw. Mount and tighten the screw slightly so that the complete function model remains assembled. Counter hold the function model piston in the workbench while tightening the screw to the specified torque. Before mounting the O-rings, first clean the O-ring grooves in the function module. Lubricate the O-rings with refrigerant oil so that they are not damaged during mounting. Then carefully mount the O-rings. Use the multifunction tool to mount the function model into the valve body. Firstly, insert the fretted end of the multifunction tool in the fretted hole of the function model and rotate clockwise to tighten the tool to the function module. Then carefully mount the function model into the valve body. Carefully press on the multifunction tool to push the function model into place in the valve body. Then rotate the multifunction tool counterclockwise to remove it from the function module. Be careful not to scratch the surfaces of the function model during mounting. Before mounting the fiber gasket, make sure that the gasket groove is clean and free from scratches. You do not need to lubricate the fiber gasket before mounting it. Then carefully mount the gasket. Carefully mount the top cover onto the valve body in any rotational direction as needed. Then mount the bolts and cross tighten them with the torque specified here. Please note that if any pilot valves have been removed, then mount and tighten suitable pilot plugs with the torque specified here. If using external control of the ICS 25 to 65 valves, then mount any fitting and piping onto the valve top cover. After completing the assembly of the ICS 25-65 pilot operated servo valves, ensure to do the following steps. Connect the valve to the system. 
connect electrical supply to any pilot valves mounted on the ICS valves, and if using external control of the ICS valves, then connect the electrical supply. Connect the pilot valves and possible external control supply to the system. Evacuate and charge refrigerant to the system, the valve and pilot valves. Check and ensure that the refrigerant pressure is equalized in the valve and system. Finally, perform a functional test of the ICS valve. You have now completed service of the ICS 25-65 pilot operated servo valves. So now you know how to correctly isolate the valve from the system and drain it before service, correctly press equalize the valve internally before service, correctly replace the fiber gasket, correctly replace the function module if needed, correctly replace the O-rings on the function module, correctly replace the valve plate on the function module if needed, and finally, how to correctly recharge the valve and connect it to the system. All this ensuring a safe and reliable valve operation with minimum service costs. Have a look at the other online learnings about Danfoss valves. Thanks for watching.